It's a war machine party. Let's get it started, shall we? Hey, what's up, chipmunks? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys. And we are back at it again with another toy review. I don't know where chipmunks came from. It just popped in my head. I just wanted to call you guys chipmunks. Okay, so today we have War Machine, the Punisher War Machine, or the War Machine Punisher. Depends on how you want to put it. Um, now, this guy came out a while back. I was very re reluctant to get this guy. Um, I seen him when he first came out, when he was first on the shelf. As you guys can see to the left and to the right over here, I have the other war machines. And I was pretty happy. I'm still happy with these war machines. And one of the main reasons why I didn't want to pick up this war machine Punisher is because I have these two war machines. But the more reviews I saw of this guy, the more I liked him. And the more I really wanted to pick him up. And that's how this review came to be. So yeah, I was very reluctant to get him. But I got him, so now we're going to review him. You might have seen millions of reviews on this Punisher. You may even own this Punisher. But, like I said, this is also not only going to be a review of this Punisher, but it's also going to be comparison tutor tutorial. Tutorial? Tutorial? And also, um, I brought out my custom red skull punisher and then i have my uh last i think well not my last because i reviewed the uh th love triangle marvel legends gene gray cyclops wolverine three pack but i just brought out deathlock because we're going to do some comparisons because i love that deathlock all right a lot of people are hating on him but i like him okay guys so let's pop this guy out the package as you can see right here i got my punisher fitting my punisher knife fitting for this review and we're going to go ahead and slice this open. We're going to go ahead and give this a review. And we're like I said, we're going to do a comparison between the Iron Patriot, the War Machine over here, and see how awesome he really, really, really is, man. Um, I've said this many times throughout the millions of videos I've done, throughout the millions of reviews I've done. I've been on YouTube since the 20th century. No, seriously. <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, I've said this many times, guys, you never know what the figure is going to be like until you take them off the package and you hold them in your hands. Like I said, looking at them, I don't know, you know. I had a similar experience when I was reviewing the, uh, Lab Escape Fugitive Predator and, uh, I, I didn't think I would like him, and I liked him. Bring my camera down. And, uh, yeah, this guy is definitely smaller than I anticipated. He looks big, but he's actually small Look compared to this guy right here. And <laughs> these guys right here, he is pretty, pretty small. Yeah, he's just your normal size Punisher. But I actually do like this guy. I do like the scuffage that they gave him, the wear and tear. Um, and you know, he he's a war machine with a Punisher logo on him. Essentially, that's what he is, man. Swivel, swivel, <laughs> dude. Yeah, I like him. I do wish he was a little bit bigger, man, because he is a small war machine. He's got some great articulation. Marvel Legends, they know how to do it, man. They are the best in the business. It's kind of hindered by his design, nonetheless. He does have double-jointed legs, double-jointed knees. He's got a good, nice, solid feel to him, you know what I mean? He's not heavy compared to, like, these two back here. But nonetheless, he is a nice figure, man. Okay, let's check out his accessories. Let's put him here. And you see the size comparison, man. Wow. I didn't realize he was that small until now. So he does come with some interchangeable hands. Pop that out. Pop that out. Their fist, which I might not need. 
he does come with his, uh, I guess, I think that's the shoulder cannon. Cannon? Cannon. His shoulder cannon. A uh, couple of guns. Let's take out his guns. I don't think, I can't remember. I, I remember seeing a few reviews of this, uh, of this, uh, War Machine Punisher, but I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember watching the accessory part. <laughs> so I don't know where a lot of these accessories go to, guys. To the box for answers. Okay. 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 Okay, so I'm guessing... Um, <laughs> dude, I'm at a loss right now. Okay, so there's his shoulder cannon. Okay, so we know this one goes in here. It pops in to this, I think. <laughs> dude, this, this is going to break. This is not even that... Um, solid. It's going to break off, man. Or maybe it goes into the other one. I don't know. I'm at a loss right now. Maybe it goes into this one, being that it's square. Duh. Yeah, it goes into that one, but it's not going to sit in there because it's just uneven. Okay, so yeah, I did manage to find out where all these pieces went. These little guns right here went into his uh, forearms, the bottom of his forearms. This uh, shoulder cannon gun pegs into his shoulder right there. Not really all that wonderful. And this peg piece right here pegs into this piece right here, which actually pegs in pretty nicely. So... Yeah, it's amazing with these shoulder cannons. Like, this is like the third... I mean, we all know where the shoulder cannon came from, from Predator, right? And then I recently reviewed the Doom Slayer, where he had the shoulder cannon as well. So, I see there's a lot of toy companies that are, like, taking after the Predator, man. <laughs> so, I don't know if this was before the Predator, or, or if the Predator invented it. But there's a lot of shoulder cannon... Uh, going on with a lot of action figures I've been reviewing lately, and also the blades too. You know, at the show at the uh, bottom of the forearm, but instead of blades, these are guns right here. Now the overall look is very very nice, man. I admit I do like them. I, I like them in hand. Now that I have them in hand, I do like the design of them. I do like the wear and tear of this Predator. Uh, logo. I do like the little skulls right here. The kill count. So he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So he's going for his 21 kill count. <laughs> oh wait, there's more skulls here. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 33, 33, 33. Kill counts going for his 34. But I do like the wear and tear of this um, war machine, man. Very Punisher esque. And I do like the wear and tear, the black going over the gray, and then the silver going over the black. He looks like he's been through war. In war, through war. I do like him, guys. Okay, so let's do some comparisons. Let's compare them with the uh, War Machine over here. This was from uh, the Smart Hulk build the figure wave, but he this War Machine didn't come with any Hulk build a figure pieces, from what I can recall. So yeah, I mean, essentially the same figure except smaller. I still have a fondness for this War Machine, man. There's something about him, even though he's not screen accurate. There's still something I like about this War Machine. I love the silver detail. I love the huskiness and the design of this War Machine. There's just something about it. I think if they had given us this um, War Machine right here, this body, and just put the Punisher logo over it, 
I think I probably would have been happy, more happier with this war machine. You know what I mean? Because size-wise, bring my camera up just a little bit. Size-wise, you know what I mean? I mean, even though I do like this war machine, I think he should have been bigger. What do you guys think? And I wish he would have been packing. I mean, this kind of looks more like a war machine Punisher than this guy right here. You know what I mean? Let's do a comparison with the Iron Patriot. I mean, even if they'd given this design right here, you know, with the War Machine Punisher, I have a feeling they're going to re-release this one, man, and give him this body. I think that's what they should have did. Because I just have a fondness for these big, chunky Marvel Legends, man. And this one is, he's chunky, but he's not chunky chunky. You know what I mean? Like, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger. And this is Stallone. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I think you guys got me right there. Right? You guys understood what I was saying. You know, this is Arnold, the big beefcake. <laughs> yeah, I called Arnold a beefcake. And this is Stallone right here. You know what I mean? Stallone was more slender built, where Arnold was more uh, chunky built, if that makes any sense. I, I, I think you guys understand where I'm coming from. But the design overall, I mean, this looks like a Punisher War Machine. Just throw a Punisher logo over it, and then you have a Punisher War Machine. Okay, speaking of Punisher, let's bring in this custom uh, Red Skull Punisher. If you guys didn't see a review of that, check it out. This actually came uh, by a mistake, by accident. I'm actually, uh, I actually used, this is uh, Magneto's body right here that I just painted a red skull over and just added some accessories from other Marvel Legends. And of course the head sculpt is from the classic Punisher. And he's he has his red uh, head bandana so it matches with the overall wardrobe. And I didn't have to do much to customize him. Like I said, Punisher and just add some uh, uh, Punisher red logo and just added some accessories to this red skull Punisher. I have a feeling knowing Marvel Legends they're going to release a red skull Punisher eventually. Uh more detailed more <laughs> more detailed than mine and these guns right here for his arms man they don't stay on there i'm gonna have to glue these babies on i'm gonna glue them on because as you can see they're having a hard time staying on there okay let's do another comparison i'll measure this guy and i'm gonna go ahead and rate this guy and let you know what i think of him so here's punisher standing next to deathlock and you see see the size comparison man Punisher is not supposed to be that small. I mean, even size comparison, even this war machine. Well, Deathlock is a big guy. But if you bring out back out the Punisher again, here's the Punisher, even though he's customized. Um, it looks like the Punisher is a little bit more smaller. But then again, he's not even wearing the armor. And body-wise, you know, it's almost like they stuffed the Punisher inside. You know what? You know, you know what I mean? Like, they made, like, a... Like a cybernetic organism, you know, he's like Robocop, you know, he's not, there's no body in there, it's just uh, Frank Castle's consciousness. And these things, man, they don't stay on at all, which decreases the score for this Punisher. Overall, I like the idea, I like the design, but overall, the accessories, man, I hate when I have to glue accessories on. Let's measure this guy. And uh, and I'll give you my rating of him. So he stands just a little bit under six and a half inches. These right here, um, this one is seven. The Iron Patriot is like seven inches all the way up to his cannon. He's like around under eight inches. And this war machine right here is seven inches as well. So, yeah, they got like a half an inch on him. The Iron Patriot has like... Uh, an inch and a half on this war machine okay guys so let me give you my rating the accessories do not stay on which takes it down a point um the size of this war machine i'm kind of disappointed with the size of the war machine you know it kind of reminds me of the apocalypse you know from the apocalypse build a figure wave not the first one but the second one beautiful design it was just a small apocalypse, especially compared to the Toy Biz one. Uh, so the size is going to affect the score a little bit. Um, but the design overall, I like it. I like the design overall. I like the skull. I like the Punisher logo. 
Um, I like these, this right here. I like the scuffage, like he's been in battle. Um, the design overall is really, really nice. I think this was a, a, a repaint of the previous uh, War Machine. I think it was from Civil War, if I'm correct. It's It's been a while, man. I don't have that figure to do a comparison. And he does have some ports right here. Maybe you can port these in here, but I don't think you can. Maybe you can, maybe you can. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you can. Eh. But they don't stay. Okay, guys. Um, on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest... I'm going to be very, very generous, guys, and I'm going to give this one a solid 7. And the only reason why I'm giving him a solid 7 is because of his design. You know, you take a War Machine, put a Punisher logo on him, and he looks good. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I do wish they would have given the Punisher logo and put this on this one right here. I guess for all the customizers out there, you can, all, you can put a Punisher logo on this War Machine. But I still like this war machine better than I do this one. Um, these two are kind of tied because even though they're somewhat of the similar body, similar size, I like, you know, if you guys didn't see that review, check it out. I liked this one, but I wish they would have given him metallic, you know, a metallic red and a meta more metallic silver with this uh, Iron Patriot, man. Other than that, he's really, really nice. I do like the blue on the Iron Patriot. I still think the Iron Patriot is has a slight edge over this War Machine right here. But this War Machine Punisher, I think, will come in third place, guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys own this figure? Do you guys own any of these figures? Do you guys agree with me on that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Which one do you like better out of all these War Machines? Which one is your favorite? Mine, Iron Patriot, a close second War Machine from the Smart Hulk Build-A-Figure Wave. And then third would be the War Machine Punisher. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. Um, yeah, I definitely would love to hear from you. Um, so if you liked this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, awesome reviews like this. And we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Let me know your thoughts, man. Okay, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you in the next one.